guys. Welcome to the seventh session of Create Custom Alexa Skill using AWS Lambda Function Tutorials for Beginners. In this session, we will see format of request and response format required by Alexa. Here is a simple request format. Alexa will send this JSON data to our Lambda function or other webhook. Version represents a version of the endpoint. The session provides additional information for context. Session object will pass in all intent requests as well as launch request and session ended request. New property, it contains a boolean value, which indicates whether it is a new session or an existing session. Session ID contains the unique value to identify user's session uniquely. The application contains application ID, which contains a unique value that represents skill ID. User ID contains string value to uniquely identify the user. Access token provides token identification of other linked account if user linked successfully. Permission contains consent token. It provides token for information that customer has consented to provide. Attributes contain key value pair map. It contains data that we have set in session attributes in response. When a new session starts, it will be empty. Context object contains information about current state of skill and Alexa. Audio player contains the current state of an audio player such as current activity, its token and offset. Display contains details of the current state of display if it contains a display. System contains detail about a system which includes application, user and device. Device represents unique device ID and supported interfaces details such as template and markup version. API endpoint contains base URL which will use by Alexa for API. API access token containing a token that can be used to access Alexa specific APIs. Request is the most important object that we will use. Type contains type of request such as launch request, intent request, session ended request, audio player request, etc. Request ID contains unique value to identify request uniquely. Timestamp contains timestamp on which request is initiated. Local contains language code that will be represent users local. The intent object contains detail about intent. Name contains the name of the intent from which the request is generated. Confirmation status indicating whether the user has explicitly confirmed or denied the entire intent. Its value can be none, confirmed, denied. Slot object contains a key value map for each slot detail. Name represents the name of the slot. Value contains original value that user has passed. Again, confirmation status indicating whether the user has explicitly confirmed or denied the slot value. Resolutions object representing the results of resolving the words captured from the user's utterance. That is it for request object. Now we will see response object. This is response format which should generate by our lambda function or webhook that will be created. However, we only need to pass required objects within response only. Not all of the listed here. Version contains a version for a response. Session attributes contains a key value map that will be added to the current session. Response is the main object that we will need to return. Output speech object contains original text that will Alexa speak. Type can be plain text or SSML. If you have used plain text, then you need to specify output speech in text properly. If you have used SSML, then write speech synthesis markup language in SSML property. Reprompt object contains output speech. This will use when the session is active after sending a response, but the user does not respond. Should end session contains a boolean value which indicates whether the session should end after Alexa speaks the response or not. 
card object contains card details that will render to Alexa app. There is various kind of cards. The simple card contains the only title and text contains. Where standard card contains title, content, text as well as small and large image. You can add only one card object. I have added it two times for showing you the syntax of both types. Directives contain an array of directives. Directives specifying device level actions to take using a particular interface. Illicit slot directive sends Alexa a command to ask the user for the value of a specific slot. Slot to illicit property contains the name of the slot to illicit. Updated intent representing the intent sent to your scheme. We can update slot value or confirmation status for the intent. Confirm slot directive will send a command to confirm the value of a specific slot before continuing with the dialog. It contains same properties as illicit slot. Audio player's play directive sends Alexa a command to stream the audio file. Play behavior describes playback behavior. If it is in queue then it will stream at end of the current queue. If replace all, then immediately begin playback of the specific stream. If replace underscore enqueued, remove all streams in the queue. However, it does not impact the currently playing stream. Audio item stream contains an object representing the audio stream to play. Token represents object token for the audio stream. URL contains the location of audio content at a remote HTTP location. Offset in milliseconds specified timestamp on which Alexa should begin playback. Metadata contains some meta details to be shown on the device if it contains a display. We can add title, subtitle, album, art and background image for that. Video app directive renders video on Alexa app. Video item object contains details of the video. Source contains URL of video file that will be played. Metadata contains text for the title and subtitle of the video. Now, hint directive generates hint message to be a device with a display. It contains some other command which user can also try out. Render template directive render list. It contains template object. Type contains the name of the template to be rendered. Currently, it contains seven different kinds of templates for body template or list template. Token used to track selectable elements. Back button property used to hide back button. By default, it is visible. Title contains text to be displayed in the title for a display template. List items contains an array of the object which contain the text and images for the list item. Image object contains URL and description for the image. Text content object contains text to be displayed in primary, secondary and territory text. We can also set reach tag which can contain HTML. That is it. We will create lambda function in next session to generate a response. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.